I have had enormous enthusiasm for particular artists, certainly. And um, in many cases, they have been artists who lived in a completely different century from me. I like what Picasso said one day. He said, some young people seem to me to be older than some artists who've been dead for several centuries. <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> some of these artists who've been dead for several centuries, their work seems entirely apropos to your own concerns right now. And so um, you seek them out, you seek their work out. And I have traveled very long distances to see exhibitions by Claude Lorraine or by Jacob uh, Van Rysdale and Constable and various people. Turner I sort of avoided and didn't think he was any good at all. And then in, then one day I was trying to paint smoke and steam coming out of a, a factory in Pittsburgh, and I thought, oh, my God, that guy Turner was an absolute master of, um, of these vapors, you know, of <laughs> vapor. The constable said that um, there were some beautiful Turners. They looked like they were made of tinted steam. <laughs> that's just right. That's exactly right. I don't know the techniques of a rice style painting. I could no more paint a rice style painting than the man in the moon. I know nothing about glazing. I don't use glazing at all. I'm a, what I call a direct painter. I put lumps of paint straight down on the canvas, and if they don't work, I take it off and try a different lump. I don't let it dry and then put another layer over it and then let that dry and then another layer. You know, it don't work that way. So um, I don't have any sentimentality about those painters, I don't think. It's that they were, seemed useful to me and provocative to me. They were like challenges to me. Can you, can you do this that well? So um, I can't access those painters technically, but I can access them through various things that their paintings do.